A previously unseen collection of satirical art and sculpture by the graffiti artist Banksy has been installed in a seaside town. The show, called Dismal Land is taking place at a former Lido in Western Supermare in Somerset. It opens to the public this weekend, but Andrew Plant has been given a preview. This property is relatively unimportant. A rundown seaside swimming pool this morning transformed into Dismal Land, a theme park where the staff are half hearted, the scenery not so much fairy tale fantasy as the stuff of bad dreams. So this is what you see as soon as you come in the door here. I suppose it looks like a theme park that was closed 10 years ago. I mean, look at the fountain here, but this is carefully constructed chaos. Now, Banksy has put out a press release this morning. In it, he's asked, what's the big theme of this theme park? And he says, well, perhaps the big theme is that theme parks should have bigger themes, whatever that means. But anyway, this is one of the new Banksy's. There are 10 new works here, we're told by him. This is called The Castle, and you can go inside, it's fully interactive. There are also, we're told, 50 other works by international artists here too. Uka Dirk from the Merc. Every fairground tradition has been twisted. The impossibility of winning a prize, the stall holders all as unhelpful as possible. What do you think this is going to do to people's brains when they come into Dismal Land? <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's going to mess with them, you know, it's, it's, it's a twist on everything that you come to think of from a theme park. This amusement park yeah. installation is all one big Banksy. They're all based on found But the artist has brought together dozens of others to join in the fun. I think all of the work has a sort of dark undertone to it, um, so it maybe brings that more to the, to the fore than it would be in a different kind of gallery. Inside a Damien Hurst, this beach ball suspended on an upward stream of air, but forever in danger from the blades below. Around every corner, something subversive, death on the dodgems. Some pieces will prove controversial. Six years ago, Banksy's Bristol exhibition attracted huge queues, over 300,000 visitors. This anti-theme park then, designed to be dismal, will no doubt be similarly sold out when it opens on Saturday. Andrew Plant, BBC News, Western Supermare.